King, you got a question for me this week? You know, I'm sick and tired of asking you questions. Maybe you should ask me a question this week. Let's do it. Welcome, everyone, to another edition of After Hours, where we raise a glass of cheer to the channel. Cheers. Cheers. What would you do today um, to kind of break through the noise, to get in front of channel salespeople or uh, to help vendors get in front of their, their channel partners more effectively? It's not the bombardment, but it's how the message is coming across and differently. And so gone are the ways of that you could just send somebody 25 emails in a row with a marketing message. You have to hit them in different ways. I'm, I'm going to bring it down into the fast food industry. And, you know, obviously we're in COVID now and everybody is doing sort of curbside pickup and take up. But, but just think of it in terms of the industry even before COVID. So you've got all these competitors. You've got Burger King, McDonald's. You've got Subway, Wendy's. They're all vying for your dollar. And so how do you choose between those establishments? I drive down the street and I see a McDonald's sign. And that's my first advertisements that I, that I see. I see a sign. Okay, that's branding. And I may not be hungry at that moment and I'm driving by. And then I turn the radio on and then there's a commercial from McDonald's. And I'm listening to that commercial. That's my second sort of direct message that I'm getting from McDonald's. I'm still not hungry, you know, but I'm driving home and I get home and I turn on the computer and then there is this email notification that I get of an offer to get a two for one hamburger at McDonald's. And that's a third touch point that's come to me in the span of, you know, less than an hour. And then finally I'm, I'm on Instagram and I'm tooling around and I see my buddy and he's got a picture of a Big Mac in his mouth and he's tagged it and at McDonald's and he's eating this Big Mac. You have to hit them in different ways. So whether it's a signpost or an offer or a coupon or it's an advertisement that's on the radio or television or through social media, McDonald's is going to get me to go and pick up and get their burger. So in this digital landscape, you're talking about strategic and relevant social media, email, polls, surveys, all these different types of communications going in at the right times. To the Correct. Right people. So the, yeah, we, we have, love it. Yeah, because everyone has a different, your, you may not like a Big Mac, you may like a fish filet, right? So if, I, so if I'm sending you a coupon for a Big Mac, that's not going to You wouldn't get me with a fish filet. <laughs> what, would I, what, what would it have to be? What would it have to be? Well, you got me with the Big Mac, my friend. There you go. So, but, but knowing what you want to eat, or maybe it's because you want a better deal on that sandwich. So maybe it's not even the fact that it's a burger, but the fact that it's half price and that's going to motivate you. Or maybe you get points when you buy that hamburger. So now we're talking about a loyalty program. So how do you engage and bring it back to the channel? So with channel reps, so is it the promotion that you're providing? Is it the incentive you're providing? Or is it the engagement? Is it that boost that they're going to get? And that's the kind of thing you have to think about. So it's not just Let's send out a couple of emails and let's do this. It's a whole all-encompassing program altogether. If you don't have a plan and if it's not consistent, omni-channel approach, you're only going to get people to you know, pay attention to you for a short period of time. You've got 700 competitors that are vying for that dollar from the consumer. So what is it? How are you going to engage? How are you going to get them to keep thinking about you, to keep top of mind? Is it based on referrals, word of mouth? Is it based on that incentive, that special offer? Is it the price? Is it engagement? Is it making sure you're part of a, a special club or is it everything combined? And so in terms of marketing, like I said, I'm, we're not going to bore everybody with all the different tactics that we do, but we absolutely, when we're dealing in the channel, we look at an all encompassing plan that fits our clients' needs to make sure that they're hitting on all four cylinders for sure. Well, thanks for letting everybody know where I get my wisdom from. The guy right here. That's awesome. Uh, so like always, we're going to provide a couple of articles in the comments below. Um, you know, maybe some references to why your incentives aren't working. Are you seeing that temporary compliance? And how can you get people to uh, return? time and time again, and how can you come up with a strategy, a marketing strategy in the channel that's going to drive results year over year? Awesome. Appreciate it, Paul. Thanks for letting me fun. take the reins. You know, so, you know, it's not just about sales and marketing. It is. 
But <laughs> <laughs> so thank you again Cheers. for joining us. Cheers. After hours. Have a great week. Cheers. Absolutely.